today we have with us the first participant from Afghanistan. This is part of my effort to create a Desi channel, not an Indian channel. And we Desis know what is a Desi. We don't have to explain it. We are all from what is called a South Asia. We never feel South Asian, but we do know what is Desi. So I'm glad that Noor Wali has volunteered to be the first person to speak to us um, from Afghanistan. And let's listen to him. Over to you, Noor Wali. Thank you so much, Pramu. You invited me for the interview. I am Noor Wali Wali from Afghanistan. I have a bachelor degree in civil engineering from Pakta University, Afghanistan. I want to come back to my school time. I was entered in 2004 to Dawlazi High School of Pakta Province of Afghanistan. So the first time when I was entered the school, there was much problem for Afghanistan students. For example, our school was new establishment. So there was new students, there was new teacher. So when first time I started my school, my school was do not have a building. So we stay on the ground. So there was a first time that uh, I studied here. I remember that uh, our teacher every day encouraged me that you are a strong person. You can learn something, you can service your country. So I try a lot in my lesson in after that, I graduated from high school in 2015 with high grade. So as you know, we have uh, 12 class in, uh, in school of Afghanistan. For example, there is three degree, primary, secondary, and uh, high school degree. Okay. Primary start from one class to, to a six class, and secondary start from seven to nine. And uh, high school class is starting from 10 to, 10 to 12. So I try a lot in my lesson and graduated from the school in 2015. I remember that uh, in 2009, uh, we stay on the ground. And when I succeed to the, to, to the 10 class of the school, we have a building in my school. So we are very happy. To stay on the building, we we are happy to have an infra infrastructure that we stay on the building. So I graduated from 2015. After that, I gave Concord exam, which is a national exam, to pass to the university. That exam was supported by Afghanistan government for the student who have uh, a strong education and also how as a strong study to attract to the university. So I gave this exam and I success to my favorite faculty of engineering. So in the school, I would love to mathematics, physics. So when I graduated from the school, I select this, this faculty and passed to bachelor degree of civil engineering in Pakta University of Afghanistan. I graduated from this university in 2019. In I learn some new area, some new techniques of engineering, and also I'm familiar with standard English language books of engineering. So the first time that uh, from Pakistan University of Afghanistan, this students was graduated. So I have a high quality energy to service our community. After that, in 2009, I graduated from the university. I start a job as a site engineer with Wahid Construction Company. My responsibility was that there to control our site area of engineering and also uh, to employ map of engineering on the site. So my other responsibility was that to control the area of engineering. So that was a big lesson, a big experience for me to working on the site. So I working with this company for nine months. After that, I got a job as a site engineer with another construction company. So my responsibility was that there to monitoring of site and imply project of engineering on the site. 
So that was a great experience for me. In the first time we make Azure cool storage, uh, which was made for Gardener of Afghanistan to protect their uh, fruit. And this is very good storage. For example, we made uh, Apple zero cool storage for gardener. In Afghanistan, when a gardener take their food, so they do not have any structure and things that they can keep your food there. So for the first time, we make this cool storage for all gardener of Afghanistan. So yeah. that was a great experience in my field in and got new idea in this field. After that, uh, I work in this very cool storage for three months. After that, uh, I try to get a job in government. So in 2021, I got a job in Ministry of Energy and Water as a survey in GIS engineer. So that was a great experience in this field of mine because we work in several projects in Afghanistan, especially in my province, Pakta province. So I surveyed several kind of project, for example, some small dams, some small canal, and also uh, some small dams in Pakta province of Afghanistan. So that was a great experience for me and familiar with engineering area in learn some new experience from senior experience engineer and work is my field. So I did this job for uh, two years almost. Uh, almost three months ago, I want to get master degree in my field. Since from two years after graduation of the university, I try to get master degree in Korean university. For example, I would love to get master degree in uh, India, for example, in European country, and also China. But uh, two, two years ago, I applied to the India University, uh, which India has a special scholarship for Afghan students, which is called ICCR scholarship. Yeah. Uh, I, two years ago, I fortunately accepted by the Islamic University of India for a star scholarship. But due to the political situation of Afghanistan, uh, I left this master degree. I can't go to the India. So uh, after that, when the political situation is changes in Afghanistan, I try to apply another foreign university to get master degree in my field. So I'm very trust interested to get master degree in foreign university, especially in a country which has a great experience and have a great record in civil engineering. So after that, I applied several European university. But fortunately, three months ago, I got admission from Florence University of Italy. So as political situation has changed in my country, when we want to process my study visa uh, for Italy, so I should go to Iran or Pakistan. So three months ago, I went to Iran to process my study visa. So there was some problem for Afghan students. For example, when I want to process study visa, I should have a bank account in Iran. And this bank account should be passed three months to work on study visa. So when I saw the situation, I can't able to make three months account in Iran. And also there was time restriction. So I can't uh, able to process my study visa. So I come back to my country and now I am working in my field. So in the future, I want to get master degree in higher ranking university and get master degree in my field. After that, come back to my country and serve my community. Okay. It sounds like you are facing political problems, not that you are a, not a good student, but you have some the country is going through the political situation <clears throat> and you are finding it difficult. But what about Pakistan? You Can you study there? Or you think that degree you should get from some another place? So I'm very really interested to get master degree in neighbor country, for example, Iran, Pakistan, uh, or China, or especially India. But uh, 
there is some changes. For example, first I tried to get master degree in my country, Afghanistan. But uh, in civil engineering, we only have one university that to do master degree for the students. And the attraction of this university is very low. For example, they are tuck every year only 65 students. So compared to the all people of Afghanistan, that is very less to students. So I try to get master degree in higher ranking university. I try to get master degree in Pakistan, but uh, there is sometime problem in visa, sometime problem in visa processing, sometime problem in go to the Pakistan. So I try to get master degree there. So I plan to get master degree in Korean country, especially in neighbor country. Okay, so who is helping you? At, if Is anyone helping you or you are doing it yourself? I am doing myself. I try to apply several university. I process my application. Um, and, and also, almost two months ago, I interviewed a German university, Hederberg, and also KIT University of Germany. But... Uh, there is problem is visa. When we want to go to the Korean country, we should go to the Pakistan and Iran. So there is a little difficulty for Afghan students. So my plan is that to get master degree in high ranking university. Wonderful. And uh, do you have the money or you need a scholarship to pay for the degree? I mean, how do you so do? I have a 50 percent. OK, so you can pay some. OK, anyway, uh, but in yes, the meantime, uh, you have uh, a common job. First, I try to get you. So in the meantime, you have your job, right? You have a yes. job? Mm. Yes, you still have your job, right? I have a job in Manistra. Okay. What about your friends? Yes, I have a job. What about your friends? Is anybody else trying to do the same thing or you are the only one? Yes, there is some friend that uh, last year they went to the Korean country. For example, some went to the Pakistan. They want to get master degree there. Some went to the European country. Some went to the Turkey. So my friend is uh, some in Korean country, some service in Afghanistan. So I have relation with them. Okay. About the uh, tuition fee, uh, I try to get a full scholarship compared to the my my family responsibility in my income. But uh, getting full scholarship. It's very hard because it need time. It need try a lot, but I plan to get a fifty scholarship so I, I can pay fifty tuition fee at university. Okay, all right. How's your situation in your job? Do you find it comfortable, or do you have some problems? Yes, I am comfortable in my job. So because I am happy to work in my field in service to my community. So I am comfortable, but uh, as we live in low income countries, so there is some economical restriction for every student, especially in South, South Asia students. So this problem is exist. Okay. Uh... Okay, anything else you want to add here to tell us about yourself or your job or anything else you want to tell us? Yes, so I want to tell about my job. For the first time, I took a, I took a job as a site engineer after the graduation. I thinking that uh, what we will be doing site how how can I apply my idea about the engineering insight? So that was the first experience of me that I started working on 
and a building as a site engineer. My responsibility was that to imply a map on the site. So at that time, it was a great experience for me that uh, familiar with all engineering area and how can control the area, how can issue material for the site, how can apply project on the site. So that was a great experience in my field and I happy to do works a lot in my field. So making some new idea, making some new structures, making some new policy that need a time. So I'm familiar with the experience engineer in Afghanistan that uh, they have a lot of experience in site working. So that was a great experience in my field. After that, uh, I do a job as a site engineer in zero, zero cold storage, which was supported by Asia Bank and World Bank. So that was a great experience for me that I worked there. I apply several project in this field and we service our community. For example, our gardener, when they collect their fruit from the garden, the, their cost of fruit is really cheap. So this zero culture is, was, was very beneficial for the gardener. When garden, they can keep this fruit on the zero cold storage. So I am happy to make this zero cold storage in my community, especially for gardener that they can keep their fruit very uh, suitable in this cold storage. So after that, uh, I got a job as a survey in GIS engineer in Manistak in the and water, especially in Pakta sub -river. So for the first time, I faced with GIS geotechnical information system. There is a new program in water field that we can find the watershed and also new tactic of water that we is collect the water. So I had great experience in this field and almost I working in this field for three years and familiar with some new engineers some new experience and very happy to service for our community. Okay. Uh, by the way, what language was your engineering college in? What did what language were they teaching you? My teaching language uh, was my native language Pashto, but uh, our book was on English. So our book was a standard English. For example, this book was written by American university teacher and also some British university teacher. So when I studied these books, they give new idea for me that we can study on English, we can uh, familiar with English. So that was a great experience for me that we are familiar with English language book and also standard book of engineering that we can study there and we can get something from this book. So my teacher speaking on native language, but my book was standard on English. Okay. All right. And uh, so how your friends also speak English like you, or is it rare? Is it not common? How many people like you are there who can speak such English? Is it common? So compared to the my faculty, civil engineering, uh, I have studied with another students. He, he can speak English all, but they can take knowledge from the books when they studied. They can get aims from the books. So they can speak English almost like me, but uh, the problem is that, that our native language is Pashto. So we only, a year, we only, on months, we speak each other on English. So there is not much time that we speak with other people on English. So that is the um, problem that we do not speak English much time. Mm -hmm. I understand. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Tell us. Yes. Uh, I want to tell us that uh, we can get progress in our community 
in our country, in especially South Asia country, when we want to progress as you may to you that we should be connect with each other. We should, should have a possibility for all, all students that to, to get studied in India University, Pakistan University, and also Iran. And when we have a good relation, when we have a strong communication, we can interact with each other and also familiar with each other. That will be progress every country, every student, and every person. So um, I am happy to this will occur in my life, especially around what time we have master degree in, in India and also have a good uh, students communication with foreign students. Okay, that's wonderful. I'm so happy uh, that uh, you have made the bold step of coming to this channel because you know i can't find people in all the countries but you found me and i'm glad you found me i hope to interview more of your friends on this channel so especially if they are interested then they are most welcome to come here and we can talk to them so uh, if you have something else to add let's add it otherwise we can end it now but if you have something else you want to say please say it Thank you. First of all, I should thank you, Pranu, that to, to give a chance for Afghan students to share my idea with you. In the future, I will be try to introduce some new students, Afghan students, that to, to interview with you. Uh, I do not have something else, but I want to make a connection group our South Asia students to communicate with each other in how a positive communication with each other. Okay. Any question I can answer? Thank you so much. I do not have any question, but I appreciate it from you, from your new idea for you, for your okay. new opportunity so, for me to give us a time. So I am happy to have a conversation with you. Okay. Good. Let's end the conversation here right now and hope we can perhaps be in touch with you when you get admission to a master's program and we can hear from you again, right? See what's happening with you, what's happening with your friends and your life. Until then, let's say bye. Let's end this recording. I'll be back with another young person, another Desi, <laughs> as I want to say. And... Uh, or an expert. Till then, bye everybody. Okay, bye-bye.